Hey guys, this is Neon Nezi, back again with another Destiny Nights video. Today, we, all right, I said last time that I would be doing another video on Guild Wars. However, I don't feel comfortable um, on Guild Wars yet, just because at this point, things seem pretty straightforward. Um, two guilds that we did face um, were rather low level and were not very um, participation heavy. Fairly easy to beat them. And me and my guild are still trying to figure out what makes Guild Wars tick. So as you guys can see, we are one of the f one of the many guilds who are at this um, at this stage at number one. Uh, I am guessing everybody else here also won two of their Guild Wars, which is fine. Um, hopefully, uh, this isn't how it is in the long run. But overall, I would say Guild Wars is all right for now. However, again, I just don't feel comfortable making any content on it because I haven't discovered everything about it yet. However, what I can talk about today, guys, is Arena. And it's, I know it's something that a lot of people are uh, concerned about. So let me just show you guys my defense team right now. This team, uh, there's not a lot of sense to it. Um, there's a lot of information and I just don't want to seem like I'm uh, jumping around all the place. So let me just explain my team first. Who I have here is Paper Hakasha, um, who, this is his first skill. It can restrain, it can restrain the opponents, increase their uh, damage taken and you ignore their defense. Second ability also ignores defense and uh, knocks them down. So he's pretty heavy on crowd control. Then I have Adonis, um, Hakasha also does a lot of damage. Then I have Adonis for of course his shields and his second skill which is a pretty good crowd, crowd control skill. It's on a fairly low cooldown as well because I have him at 60% cooldowns. And then I have Paper Chen who has defense buff, HP recovery for sustain and then I have a reflective shield, damage um, output increase and attack speed buff. The damage output increase from him and the damage um, taken increase buff from Hakasha paired with four units of paper type with final damage increase of 30% is honestly pretty darn good. I have Hakasha as my lead for final damage, Adonis and Chen for um, Adonis and Chen for uh, shields and I have Adonis and Chen at 40% status activation each. Uh, tactics that I think are really worth looking at is the rear first in such case as mine where you have two buffers and the second hero first which is most common in teams with Elki as lead because what people will do is they'll have Elki in the lead to take reduced damage Adonis in the second position so that he buffs his shield every single time and then they have Carlota this is a very common team right now a lot of people are using it one thing that um, I do want to test out today is Antonella our guild leader um, and uh, he also placed number one in arena so <clears throat> so he is my source if you guys are wondering where I'm getting my information and it's partly um, myself uh, trying out di different comms I didn't do so hot this time in arena I placed around 187 not too hot uh, my excuse is one I wasn't very active and two I was trying out a bunch of different comms um, and also shout out to the guild because they've also been giving me some pretty good information What was I saying? Okay, yeah um, What I want to toss out today is something that Antonella said about the Shields not overlapping. All right, so Let's do that really quick. Um, who's the strongest person here? Well, let's just refresh actually try to get somebody stronger. All right, we have somebody at level 74 um they have elki and they have ingrid who has a status status uh, shield and they have rock akasha who i know is pretty heavy on damage so this team i think can work against him the pv the pvp the mvp in this stage for me is this guy who was never talked about if you guys go back to my video on the caesars i'll always give so much credit to rock caesar however not much to his brother the paper caesar however if you guys do go back and watch my spotlight videos i have always mentioned that he is actually decent in the striker position in arena and guess what guys this is 
undoubtedly his time to shine. Why? Look at his striker position, guys. 5,000 breakpoints. All right. He is available on Global and Asia. What does he do? Three things. First of all, I mean four things, right? The struggle, struggle point is very, very low, so that's gonna come off relatively easily, especially if um, either you have high damage on your side or the opponent has high damage on their side. What's super great about him, guys, is he reduces the opponent's accuracy, he removes two buffs, and he removes a shield. Units can only ever have one shield at a time, and most of the times what people are doing are they're running, um, they're running their shields with like attack buff or Francisco buffs. So in which case, generally on average, people have about three buffs on them, a shield and two buffs. He strips them all. Not to mention, reduces their status activation chance. Why is reducing their accuracy, accuracy important? Simply because right now, the teams that are really, really up there are sustained bruiser teams and crowd control teams, all right? So, in my core three, I have somebody like Adonis and Paper Chen to give me shields that make me immune to um, harmful deep debuffs. I have Hakasha to deal damage. What I don't have is something to deal with the opponent's um, striker points, or I'm not, not the striker points, with their buffs, their annoying, annoying, annoying buffs. When he comes in, he will strip their buffs, remove their shield, and reduce the chance of them landing harmful effects and crowd controlling me, guys. I think that is super, super cool for one unit to do all this at 5,000 striker point. This is a strike skill, guys, meaning you guys need no skill ups, no nothing. What I do have on him is just whatever I could find left over to try and increase his um, status activation. And right now he is at 26% status activation. His second skill already has a ton of accuracy, but you know, j just to make it more reliable. So I really think people should start taking a second look at um, Paper Caesar. Now let's get into some battles here. I also wanna talk about why a lot of people are having, um, or why a lot of people are arguing a lot on Reddit on this new system, but let's do that after a few matches, all right? And then I'll just keep doing some stuff as I talk. So let's reduce the speed right now. Um, let's see if this team works. So one thing that you guys will be very happy to know is that shields no longer overlap. As long as that Adonis shield is in right now, uh, Chen will not activate his shield. Chen will not activate his shield until Paper Adonis' shield is off. And if Chen has a shield up, Adonis will not activate his shield up. So Adonis just activated his shield again. As you guys can see throughout this entire duration, because Adonis had a shield up, Paper Chen did activate his first skill, giving us defense buff and um, at attack speed, but he never activated his second skill, which was shield. So the AI has already gotten faster with the tactics people should be able to uh, implement it and you know just take a lot of advantage on it so right here again we have adonis benito and elki uh this guy this i don't know he's somewhere from asia all right master 2 2500 let's go ahead and attack him as well with this same team i think what people need to start doing is make teams uh, you need to make three, three, ideally, you need to make three different teams with four units of the same type to maximize damage. Of course, not everybody does this. There are more important things such as team synergy. However, maximizing damage output is also very, very, very meaningful. So right here, uh, Paper Chen, if you guys go back right now, just activate his shield only after Adonis activated his shield. Now Paper Chen right here buffs. Here we come with the striker position. Please tell me you you strip. Strip that. Alright, we reduced their stats activation and we stripped their shield. Adonis is not going to activate his shield until that shield is done. Here we go with um with Adonis' shield. 
Thank you, Paper Chen, for buffing. We really, really needed that. And there we go. We win. GG. As you guys just saw, Paper Caesar uh, land played a huge role because he decreased the opponent's stats activation. And once he did that, their Elki was not able to crowd control us. Let's go ahead again with another team. So right here we have... So over here, I do, I'm just going to go with the same uh, same team. What you guys can do for teams like those uh, that are that have Mashia is bring in somebody in your striker position that can cleanse. Because chances are, because of the AI, you might have an opening between Adonis' shield and Chen's shield. So if you guys bring in somebody like Soho, uh, Paper Soho, Paper Eve, Arcana, just to give you guys a little bit of time, um, or just to give you guys a little bit of break, like... A safety net from the striker position it's well and good i just think i have enough safety nets in my main team itself so i choose a more offensive route from my striker position as you guys can see this team is doing fairly well um what i think is cool about this team or about this new arena system is that people that are low level also have a chance of making it big Alright, um, as you guys can see, these are level, like, we saw somebody from level 34, right? Hopefully, I'm, I'm not trying to be rude, I mean, hopefully people can't, I don't think people can exploit this system like they were previously. It's a little bit more balanced, um, and hopefully, hopefully they can't exploit it. Um, what I will say is that resistance is... Is playing a huge role simply because these new teams or the current meta does seem to revolve around crowd control or sustain so holy cow that was a lot 72,000 damage that's why you run him with four other units to get that 30% damage dished out increased buff oh it's so good all right Tawakai, this guy should be easy. Um, I feel like every now and then, like this thing right here, did, like this is just AI. It's not an actual person. So now that we've talked a little bit about Arena, before this video gets too long, let's talk about what I think about Arena. Personally, I think the main reason why people have a problem is that they can no longer manual it. However, what some people do not realize is that before, all right, before this new arena system was implemented, the top 100 people, I mean, maybe not everybody in the top 100, but majority of the top 100, I can guarantee you guys were all using auto teams, all right? Nobody was actually going, victory, yes. <laughs> My defense won. Um, nobody was really going around uh, manualing everybody. Um, oh, somebody from my guild, Numi. I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to hit him because he's from my guild. Let's just refresh. Try to get somebody. Uh, let's try to get some stronger people. All right, level seventy-four. ID something something. Again, Rock Mashia, Paper Adonis. I'm going to use my same team over here. Um, it it seems to be working so far pretty well. Counters m most things. The meta right now sadly does seem to be Elki lead Adonis. Uh, second with um, Carlota, Carlota third, and then uh, maybe Paper Isaac in the in the striker position. But that's what people need to understand is that people were already autoing a lot in the top 100, and this new change really doesn't bring out anything new for the top players. Now, one thing that I will say is that it is annoying and frustrating sometimes where your units have something available and they don't use it and you end up losing. We did not strip that shield, that um, sucks. But what I will say is that this game finally has an RNG factor in um, Arena that makes it really, really fun that's the only way to describe it it's challenging it's fun and if nothing else it's balanced more than it was before all right um i really had a good argument for oh yeah um here here's my argument for why this is a step in the right direction 
let's take a look at Summoner's War in Arena. You take four of your units, they have four of their units. Whoever was first, whoever has the most speed goes first, right? Once you attack, the there's a function that says once it's your turn, like for the AI, there's a function because I did I've done a little bit of programming. A function that goes, if your health is below 40%, heal. If these skills are available, prioritize this one over that one. And it's easy, guys. It's really easy for Summoner's War to do that because it's a turn-based game. Destiny Knights is not turn-based. It is rather, I, as I would like, like to say, real-time skill-based because you really need to have proper timing. You need to have a lot of skill, right? And if you're going to compare um, AIs that are available to the game or av available to games and AIs that are available to um, that are available to well humans you guys will notice that like 9 out of 10 times the human is always going to outmaneuver or outplay the, the AI if there was an AI that could calculate in real time, as all this was happening, even when playing at triple speed, it could calculate, right now I need to buff, right now I need to strip, right now I need to deal this damage, because right now I need to heal. They, It wouldn't be in a game, guys. That kind of AI would possibly be somewhere, I don't know, being used or implemented to create Ultron, maybe, you know? Like, right now, I honestly think that this was a step in the right direction, and if everything goes well, there might be a few tweaks that we can do, but all in all, I think I'm really enjoying this new arena system. Um, it's honestly really, really, really good. It's a huge, huge improvement from before. Um, next week, what I might try to do is hop on to Antonella's account um, and kind of just try out his units. Um, but anyway, so far, uh, like, I'm not trying to take credit for this or anything, but this team right now, Kakasha, Adonis, Paper Chen with um, Paper, Caesar, I haven't seen this team before. I kind of just thought about it, um, but if there are other people using this team, you know, I'm not trying to take away what you guys started or anything. I honestly thought about this team on my own, and I don't know, it kind of works. Um, what I will say, though, is that... If you guys can spare some resistance on your units, try to do so. My team doesn't really have a lot of resistance, it's at 9%. Um, but you guys can try to give your units a bit more resistance uh, just to see if that actually helps. I will be honest though, in our experience, in my guild experience in the past week, resistance has not been our friend. Um, I remember, I forgot who, but somebody in our guild tried it with like a ton of resistance and they were still getting CC'd like the crap out of, so um, resistance might not be the way to go, but at the same time, every now and then when I do run teams with high resistance, I do feel like I resist stuff. So again, I'm not sure, uh, need to collect more data on it. I'm sorry that we couldn't talk more about guild wars, but if everybody is getting mashed up with uh, guilds like we are that are just not very participation heavy then I'm guessing everybody is fine and hopefully you guys can wait for a few more days for me to collect as much data as I can on guild wars and then present that to you if you guys would like to see uh, some comps I, I mean here are my units right uh, they all don't have orbs but that can easily be just swapped around and stuff um, I'm actually going to start building a lot more units I actually recently just built my Paper and Rock Chrono. Um, they don't have orbs in Crest yet, but I did 6-star them and, aw and awaken them. Um, they're pretty good for Arena. Is there anything else I want to say? No, I think that's it. So, again, if you guys have any questions or comments, please let me know in the comment section down below. If you guys have any arguments for... Um, what arena could be or what they could do better please i am all ears i will make a video to try my best to get your words to the devs if you guys like my content 
please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And last but not least, huge shout out to Antonella and the Guild for all your support and tips. Thank you, everybody. And until the next time, guys, Neon out.